because you have the new moon, which was two days ago. We're now in the fifth month. Okay. So then you try, that is, for this one, that is Yom Teruah. The Feast of Trumpets. Okay. Then you go to Yom Kippur, which is 10 days later. Then you go to the 15th, which is Sukkot. And then you got to count to the 8th day. But if you're not in a place that's celebrating these properly, then your shepherd is not following the great shepherd. And then, so then you're going to be taught wrong. Then you're not going to be following the narrow path. And if you're not following the narrow path, you're not following Yeshua, and therefore you're not getting into heaven. See how simple that is? That's why your shepherd must follow Yeshua's example. So once again, this is uh, just a review. We're not going to go through everything we, we did before. Let's uh, go on to slide number 29, stuff we went over last week. And if you, you want to watch it, just click on the last week's number. <laughs> Turn to Psalm 143, verse 10. The shepherd is a guide. A guide. You know, you go on um, a hike. You, you go to another state. And um, you want to, uh, um, you know, go on a trail through the forest. Or you, you, you go to the Grand Canyon. So, and you want to, you know, go on a horse ride down to the bottom, right? You hire a guide to do that for you, right? So, you hire somebody that's done it before? Who knows what they're doing, right? So, a shepherd is a guide. In Psalm 143, verse 10. Teach, teach me to do your will because you are my God. Let your, sp your good spirit guide me on ground that is level. So the shepherd is a guide. He has to teach what? The whole of Scripture. Scripture that doesn't change. Rules that don't change. No matter what anybody says to you. Always hold on to the Hebrew Scripture. Hebrews 13. Where Yeshua is the same yesterday today, and forever. Okay? He, so, if he's going to chastise Sodom and Amorah, then he's going to chastise you if you're not following. One second, please. We're both coming at you. 
internal to the one side. They're not coming out at all? No. They're both coming out of one side. They're not separate. But you're seeing levels on both sides? No. You're not seeing levels I'm on both sides? I'm only seeing levels on one side. All right. Um, are you getting that noise? No, it's perfectly fine. They're just both coming out of channel two. Undo the wires? One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. Now you got me on both. Juan, talk, please. I got you a tiny bit on the left and mostly on the right. One, two, one, two, one, two. Well, now you're kind of low on both. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Mostly on the right side and barely on the left. All right. Let, let it just go for now. I got to work on it. Okay. Hi. So sorry about that. We're, we had some sound glitches the other day, and I haven't had a chance to uh, fix it. All right, so back to slide number 29. Teach me to do your will. A pastor that is not following Yeshua's example, as we spoke about in section one, then if he's not doing the holy days, then he can't teach you to do anything else because he's not guiding you. He's guiding you in man-made ways and Yeshua taught against this. And uh, in the second half of the sentence, it says, let your good spirit guide me. Uh, for those who don't understand that, because a lot of people say that the Holy Spirit is not in the Old Testament, then what would be the Spirit? Let your good spirit guide me? If it is a good spirit, it must be a Holy Spirit. So a shepherd is one who guides you in the knowledge of the scriptures. Así que el pastor, un buen pastor, es alguien que te está enseñando uh, con la sabiduría de esos um, eh, escrituras. But if he's not living the scriptures, pero si él no está viviendo las escrituras, if he's not following them himself, si él Si ese pastor no está de acuerdo con esas escrituras, if, no las sigue. If his children are poorly behaved, si sus hijos eh, tienen un mal comportamiento, or if he's got a girl, o si tiene una like a daughter, a, a daughter, o, uh, si tiene una hija, and she dresses like a prostitute, y se viste inapropiadamente como una prostituta, and a man who can't run his house si es un hombre que no puede manejar su um, uh, hogar can't guide anybody else entonces él no puede guiar a nadie más if he's divorced si él es divorciado and he was a believer in the lord when he got divorced y si él era un creyente uh, en el señor antes de que se divorciara he si can't era, be a, a shepherd either entonces no puede ser un pastor tampoco because he can't keep a vow. Porque él no puede uh, mantener sus votos. And a person who can't keep a vow y un, can't teach. Y una persona que no puede mantener sus votos no puede enseñar. Okay. Let's uh, let's see here. Going to go on to number because we did one and two. Real question about that. Mm -hmm. Two part question. Okay. You're saying essentially someone who doesn't keep teach his If somebody doesn't teach Torah, si alguien no enseña el Torah, yes, that person is a false shepherd. Sí, esa persona es un pastor falso. Because didn't Yeshua keep Torah? 
porque acaso Yeshua no guardó el Torah? Didn't he say follow me? No dijo síganme. So if somebody's teaching you not to follow, si alguien te está enseñando que no sigas, then who would you be following? Entonces a quién vas a seguir entonces? Satan. A Satanás. Very simply. Okay. La pregunta es, um, si esos pastores que no siguen el Torah uh, pueden sanar a gentes, porque hay muchos uh, um, um, avivamientos, is that, uh, donde personas son sanadas. Um, muchas personas, uh, nuestro hermano aquí está preguntando, ¿cómo es que puede explicar el rabino esto? God loves you. Dios te ama. He made you. Él te hizo. And he knows you're not coming to heaven. Y él sabe que no vas a entrar al cielo. So he gives you your present now. Así que él te da tu regalo ahorita. I'll, I'll take mine later. Yo voy a tomar mi regalo después. That's what, if, if Proverbs 28, not, 28 verse 9 is true. Si 28.9 es verdad. Where it says, if you don't follow Torah, your prayer is an abomination. Donde dice, si no sigues el Torah, tu um, oración es una abominación. Then, what's going on? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que está pasando? And there's always multiple layers to what's y, going on. Y siempre hay uh, niveles, niveles de, uh, de lo que está pasando. Okay, so, the, the prayer that's being said by said pastor Así que la oración que se fue dicha por tal pastor might not have changed God's will he might have been wanting to heal that person anyway Quizá no cambió la voluntad del Señor quizás el Señor quería sanar a esa persona Because conversely I can say why doesn't everybody get healed that that pastor heals from? Por so. eh, porque yo también podría decir por qué es que todos no son sanados por ese pastor Okay more? Yeah. He's explaining that with your faith, that you just need a positive faith to accept that God can heal you and then your faith will be healed. Right. Yeah. You don't have the faith of a mustard seed. Si no tienes la fe, también uh, no puede ser sanado. One sec. But it might also be that, Pero, might also be, Pero también puede ser that you may not get healed. Que no será sanado. But you could do more than most people that are have healthy bodies. Pero quizás puedas hacer más que aquellos que eh, sí tienen su salud. I look at my wife. Yo miro a mi esposa. Who's been a diabetic for 40, 47 years. Que ha tenido diabetes por 47 46 años. 46 years. 46 años. 46 years. 46 años. Neuropathy all over her body. Um, Neuropathy, uh, lots of pain, lots of pain all over her body. Mucho uh, dolor uh, a través de su cuerpo. She does more than most people with healthy bodies. Ella hace más que uh, con con su cuerpo que muchas personas que tienen su salud. And that's a great testimony to people. Y ese es un gran testimonio para las personas. Para Where her brother, personas. donde su hermano, who's been a diabetic half her time, que ha tenido diabetes por mitad de ese tiempo. We're pretty positive he's already gone blind. Uh, estamos positivos que él ya ha perdido su uh, vista. But sometimes it's uh, God doesn't heal. Pero muchas veces Dios no sana. So people should look at that and say, what am I doing for the kingdom? Y muchas personas deberían de ver esto y decir y hacerse la pregunta a sí mismo, ¿qué estoy haciendo para el reino? Or maybe that person needs humbleness. O quizá esa persona necesita que ser humillada. Maybe if uh, my wife was healed, she wouldn't be as humble. Uh, quizás si mi esposa hubiera sido sana, um, quizás ella no tuviera esa humildez. It doesn't mean I don't ask. Uh, no, no significa que yo no uh, oro. Y But we also don't know the mind of God. Pero tampoco no conocemos la mente de Dios. Yes, one. And uh, I was also going to say, you know, that uh, whenever uh, in the Torah it states that whenever uh, the Lord sends a prophet and uh, he tells you things and they happen, but 
or he didn't send them, but says things, but they do happen. No, he it or, says he sent or he sends he sends the, the prophet to sends, test you. He sends the prophet to test you. Um, because he's calling also. you away from Torah. Because okay. Uh, también le estaba diciendo al Rabbi, ¿no? Que eh, está escrito en el Torah que Dios manda profetas que profetizan cosas, uh, pero uh, malguían a, a las personas uh, para seguir a otros dioses. To sí, follow other, other gods. gods. Y, es, y, es, y eso es una prueba también que manda Dios. So, the tests come. Así que las uh, pruebas vienen to see if you will stay with the king. para ver si vas a ser fiel al rey. But the shepherds who are teaching wrong, Pero los pastores que están uh, mal enseñando a la gente. I believe that there's a place lower than hell for them. Yo pienso, or, lower uh, than hell, uh, like with es, the, those que, angels. Que es que hay un lugar más bajo que el infierno. Uh, para los uh, ángeles caídos de Dios. Because you're teaching disobedience. Porque estás enseñando la desobediencia. So number two here, a shepherd is supposed to be a guide. Así que la uh, número dos, un pastor debería de ser un buen guía. He's supposed to be a guide. Él debería de ser una guía. And if he's not giving you Yeshua's example. Y si él no te está dando el ejemplo de Yeshua. Then He's not a guide at all. Entonces, él no es guía. Not a guide to heaven, anyway. No un guía de acuerdo con el cielo. All right. Um, we also, if you go to slide 35. Uh, también, si vamos a página 35 en la pantalla. Um, a shepherd nurtures. Okay, un pastor alimenta. If you look at uh, slide number 36, si vamos la página 36, and turn to Psalm 78, y vamos a Salmo 78, verse 70 to 72, versículo 70 al 72. Okay, so we're just reviewing some of this before we move on to the last two sections. Solamente estamos revisando esto antes de seguir con la Damn, próxima right sección. <coughs> the blue chair is for you. <laughs> Psalm 78. Verse 70 through 72. Psalm 78. Salmo 78, versículo 70 al 72. Right there. I'm not biased, Cuban, Ecuadorian, it don't matter. Steve's not scared. He's not scared of any chair. <laughs> He's got the chair. <laughs> Psalm, Psalm 78, verse 70 through 72. He chose David to be his servant, taking him from the sheep yards, from tending, nursing ewes. He brought him to, a, to shepherd Yaakov, his people, Israel, his heritage, with Upright heart, he shepherded them and guided them with skillful hands. So the focus here in the section three that we did last week El aquí de la que la pasada, was nurturing. Es alimentar. You know, you can't talk to a, a newborn baby about quantum mechanics. No le puedes hablar de un, a un bebé sobre ciencia complicada. Okay, yeah, th complicated things. Complicated math problems. <laughs> Sandy, you could sit right next to Steve. <laughs> um, so a shepherd is one. A shepherd is one who uh, who knows. Así que un pastor es the, alguien que conoce the spiritual age of his students. El, la edad espiritual de sus estudiantes. Shh. Silencio, por favor. Um, the nurturing, like when new people come to this congregation. La alimentación, uh, por ejemplo, nuevas personas que vienen a nuestra congregación. Okay. Um, I talk to them about first keeping the Sabbath. Hablo sobre guardar el reposo. And keeping the holy days the first year. Y guardar 
los días santos el primer año. It's the beginning stages. Es um, el, 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 uh, el comienzo del you caminar. Have, you have to have a framework first. Tienes que tener um, una base. Okay. Before you can get into the more profound things of Scripture. Uh, antes de poder entender las cosas más profundas de las Escrituras. So a shepherd nurtures his students. Así que un pastor alimenta a sus estudiantes. Then after a year. Luego después de un año. You want to see some growing in these adult students. Queremos ver a uh, crecimiento en uh, estos estudiantes. And when they don't grow, y cuando no crecen, that's when you start to spank. Es cuando empiezas a castigar. You know, and say what's wrong with you. Y decir, ¿qué pasa contigo? You know, I'd rather be with people that desire to be with God. Yo prefiero estar con personas que uh, tienen ese deseo para estar con Dios than with people who are just doing their shift on que, Shabbat. Que estar con personas que simplemente vienen al, al trabajo. You're just para, doing your hours. Sí, solamente vienen a, a cumplir uh, las horas eh, con el reposo. It's a waste of time. Uh, es un tiempo mal gastado. And it's, it's a waste of resources. Y es un uh, uh, mal gasto de recursos. You know, so... As a shepherd, you need to nurture good listening habits. Así que como uh, con un pastor tenemos que tener esos um, hábitos buenos para escuchar. See, one of the hardest things in ministry. Una de las cosas más uh, duras en el ministerio. Is teaching people how to actively listen. Es enseñarle a las personas cómo escuchar activamente. That's one of the biggest problems I find in the Latin culture. Ese es uno de los problemas más grandes que yo encuentro en la comunidad latina. Is mediocrity. Es uh, medio mediocridad. Is because and that comes with not being able to actively listen. Uh, porque muchas personas uh, no pueden escuchar activamente. They actively listen for certain types of music. Activa, uh, activamente buscan uh, escuchar uh, cierto tipo de música. They'll actively listen for sporting events. O van a ver eventos uh, deportivos. You know, you'll be able to talk to them about, you know, the baseball game. Oh, so and so did da 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 da. Rattle it off. Uh, pueden hablar de los deportes de béisbol, por ejemplo, quién uh, las estadísticas de un jugador. But they won't be able to tell you the Ten Commandments. Pero ellos no te van a poder uh, decir los diez mandamientos. The baseball game will fade away. El juego de béisbol uh, se va, se, te vas a alejar de él. But your soul will not. Pero tu alma no quiere. So a shepherd is has to be trained Así que un pastor tiene que ser entrenado to nurture, para poder alimentar, to pat on the back, para poder darte eh, consuelo, to give a swift kick in the bute, uh, y darte un buen, uh, una buen, uh, buena patada en el trasero. Okay. And that, that is nurturing. That is nurturing. Eso es alimentación. Some people learn when they're getting chastised. Muchas personas uh, aprenden cuando están siendo castigadas. And you'd rather get chastised by me than by my dad. Y uh, créanme que pre, pre, ustedes van a preferir que yo los castigue que mi padre celestial. Because when my dad gets angry, porque cuando mi padre se enoja, he shakes the house. Él va a temblar toda la casa. And he's shaking the whole world. The earthquakes going on right now, people are insane. Ahorita, lo, los terremotos que están pasando a través del planeta es, son uh, locos. So he is the great shepherd that knows how to nurture. Así que él es el gran pastor que sabe cómo alimentar. And if you don't know what you're looking for, y si no sabes uh, qué buscar, it's because your shepherd where you're going, es porque ese pastor que te está guiando donde estás yendo, it's just more worried about your feelings and your soul. Él está más ocupado con tus sentimientos que con tu alma. A shepherd knows how to nurture his flock. Un pastor sabe cómo alimentar a su rebaño. 
but he can only nurture if he's following. Pero solamente te puede dar ese alimento si él mismo está siguiendo. So as we started off tonight's class, así que como empezamos eh, nuestra clase, with the last day of Sukkot, con el último día de tabernáculos. And if that shepherd's not teaching that, y si ese pastor no está enseñando eso, then he's not going to be teaching the rules, entonces él no va a enseñar las reglas, and he's not going to know how to nurture you, y no va a poder alimentarte, because he has no parenting skills. Porque él no tiene uh, habilidades para poder manejar su hogar. Going on, now we'll move on to the, the other stuff here. Let me just get to uh, the fourth section. Okay. All right, slide number 40. Yes. You, you went to like one side and took care of them. Mm -hmm. But them are watching you. But they're going to watch you. But that's where you as a parent, Nosotros como padres, you have to nurture good habits in your children. Nosotros tenemos que alimentar esos buenos hábitos en, tu, en nuestros hijos. They'll watch you more than they'll listen to you. Porque ellos te van a ver más que escucharte. And if they see you reading the Bible, y si ellos te miran a ti que lees la Biblia, read the Bible. ellos van a querer leer la Biblia. If you make it part of their life, si tú haces esto parte de su vida, as a shepherd of the house, como un pastor de la casa, you're going to nurture God's goodness into them. Entonces tú le vas a dar ese buen alimento de el amor de Dios a ellos. Because a farm takes work. Porque una granja uh, se necesita mucho trabajo. You gotta get the, the soil ready. Tienes que trabajar la tierra. You gotta take out all the weeds. Tienes que sacar todas esas hierbas. As uh, Rabbi Will said, you gotta put a seed a certain distance into the ground. Como Rabino Will dice, tienes que poner uh, esa semilla de, uh, de cierta distancia And he said en la the, tierra. The, The watermelon seeds can only go in that deep. Y dice que que las uh, semillas de la sandía pueden so ir así, no, no pueden estar muy profundas. Farming takes that work. Uh, poder trabajar esa tierra se necesita children, ese ese esfuerzo. Children take that work. Los niños se toma ese mismo trabajo para poder will, enseñar a los hijos. They will watch you, my friend, more than they will listen. Ellos te van a ver más que escuchar. You know, it, it, comes to, it comes to families that have some sort of substance abuse in the family. Uh, por ejemplo, familias que tienen uh, personas que abusan um, some sort of alcohol, or alcohol drugs. o drogas. That kid will tr still try to please that parent. Ese niño va a tratar de complacer a ese padre. They love that parent. Ellos aman a ese padre. No matter what. No importa. And that's something that comes from God. Y eso es algo que viene de Dios. So they're watching you. Así que ellos están viendo lo que haces. They're waiting for you to come home. Ellos están esperando a que, a que vengas a casa. Oh, papi. I know what you are. You didn't say that to me all day long. <laughs> But this is the shepherd of the house. Pero este es el pastor de la casa. Why you got to break where you came from. Y por eso tenemos que alejarnos de donde vinimos. You got to become a Jew in here. Nosotros tenemos que tratar de ser judíos aquí dentro. Not just outside. No solamente afuera. You gotta make your child a good student. Nosotros tenemos que hacer a nuestros hijos a ese buen estudiante. But that takes discipline from the parents. Pero eso se necesita mucha disciplina de los padres. And if you ain't studying the Word of God each day, y si no estás estudiando la palabra de Dios todos you, los días, your kids are just gonna follow the same bad path. 
entonces tus hijos van a seguir ese mal camino. You can overcome everything in this world with God's word. Puedes sobrepasar todo, uh, toda maldad que hay en el mundo solamente con la palabra de Dios. And that's why I teach the way I do. Y es por eso que yo enseño la manera que yo enseño. You know, I'm blessed to look around everybody. Yo soy muy bendecido de ver. The first couple of years of the congregation, there was two people at Bible study. Los, los uh, primeros uh, two years? No, the first couple of years, there was yeah. only two people at Bible study. Oh, uh, los primeros uh, varios años que, uh, uh, que abrimos esta congregación, solamente había dos personas aquí en el estudio bíblico. But it takes hard work. Pero se necesita mucho trabajo. But this is the fruit of what God's doing. Pero este es el fruto de lo que está haciendo Dios. Slide number 41. Página 41. Number four, a shepherd protects. Un pastor protege. A, pre, uh, a shepherd preserves his flock. El um, pastor mantiene su rebaño. The word for protect. La palabra protección. Is the word shamar. Es la palabra shamar. It means to keep. Significa guardar. Guard. As um, in like guarding a house. Como... Eh, como ser un guardia, uh, como guardar tu casa. Uh, have charge as in like, you know, he's in charge of everything. Ser encargado. To keep watch, to ward off evil. Uh, mantener, uh, uh, vigilar para separarse de maldad. To protect. Proteger. To save a life. Um, salvar vida. That's why... You know, I heard there's some people trying to start their own Bible study here. Es, uh, escuché que um, uh, varias personas, several people. Uh, there was one or two people that wanted había, to start their own Bible study. Había una o dos personas que querían uh, comenzar su propio estudio bíblico. And, um, you know, they said, don't tell me about it. Y ellos dijeron, the, no the, me digas, no yeah, me digas. I found out through, through the per, people that they were trying to invite. Yo me enteré de personas que ellos estaban invitando. Don't tell the rabbi about it. No le digan al rabino de esto. So, don't go to those places, people. Así que no, no vayan a esos lugares. If you came here. Si ustedes vinieron. For the teachings here. Para las enseñanzas de aquí. Don't let some snake try to take you away. No dejen que una eh, serpiente los aleje. And if you hear this more, y si ustedes escuchan más de esto, let me know about it. Por favor, déjenme saber. Because I will kick the person out because my job is to protect. Porque yo voy a echar a esa persona fuera porque mi trabajo es proteger. Because there's only one Bible study that's sanctioned here. Porque es solamente un estudio bíblico que está de acuerdo. My job as a shepherd Mi trabajo como is un pastor to es, is to protect you es para protegerlos. From people coming in with silly uh, doctrines. De personas que vengan con su propia doctrina. You know, if they want to have a, they want to open up their own congregation, go ahead. Si ellos quieren abrir su congregación, pues háganlo. You know, see if God's going to bless it if. Pues, you know. vamos a ver si Dios lo va a bendecir But if you had hands laid on, pero si no te han puesto las manos sobre ti and you been trained, y no has sido entrenado then I don't doing it. entonces yo no sugiero esto I can make it 74. <laughs> okay. um, so the así que cuando estamos viendo esto protección it means to inspect. significa inspectar to look carefully. Para ver uh, cuidadosamente. Okay, so as a shepherd, así que como un pastor, you got to see if the snake that's coming in si esa víbora que está entrando is poisonous. Es venenosa. Okay, it, what, what, what are they bringing in? ¿Qué es lo que están trayendo? Uh, is there Are there questions trying to tear down? Hay preguntas que van a, a to tear apart. A, van a derrumbar. Okay. Or are there questions inquisitive? O hay preguntas que son uh, uh, inquisitive. Inquisitive like. Inquisitive uh, like uh, 
want, desiring que de, knowledge. desean sabiduría. Like uh, Victor. Como Victor. I don't find his questions to be malicious. Yo no encuentro que sus uh, preguntas sean uh, mal, maliciosas. Like when he was asking about the mikvah in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Ruach HaKodesh. Cuando hizo la pregunta, eh, ¿qué significa el Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu Santo? And he said, I, I just want to do it right. Porque él dijo, yo lo quiero hacer bien. I want to do it the right way. Lo quiero hacer de manera eh, buena. So that's why last week I went and got the Greek. Y es por eso que la semana pasada eh, vimos el estudio en griego. So in the Greek it says Father, Son, Spirit. En el griego dice Padre, Hijo, Espíritu Santo. But we have other people that have agendas. Pero tenemos otras personas que tienen sus agendas. So as a shepherd así that protects, como, así que como un pastor que protege, I have, I have to inspect the questions. Tengo que inspectar la pregunta. What is the idea behind your question? ¿Qué es la idea detrás de tu pregunta? Where is the root coming from? ¿De dónde viene esa raíz? You know, some roots go bitterly deep. Uh, muchas raíces van eh, muy profundas. So a shepherd has to protect the flock. Así que el pastor tiene que proteger su rebaño. Let's go to slide 42 and turn to Genesis 7. Okay, vamos a la página 42 y vamos a Génesis 7. Versículo 1 al 5. Genesis 7, verse 1 through 5. Genesis 7. Oh, wow. Thank you. Verse 1 mm -hmm. through 5. Genesis 7, Bereshit 7, verse 1 through 5. Where'd Katia go? Okay. Jehovah said to Noah, come into the ark, you and all your household, for I have seen that you alone in this generation are righteous before me. Of every clean animal, you are to take seven couples, and of the animals that are not clean, one couple. Also, of the birds of the air, take seven couples in order to preserve their species throughout the earth. For in seven more days, I will cause it to rain, on the earth, 40 days and 40 nights, and I wipe every living thing that I have made from the face of the earth. Noah did all that Jehovah had ordered him to do. Okay, so a shepherd. Así que un pastor. Noah was called to protect life. Noé fue llamado para proteger okay. la vida. Now here's a question. Ahora aquí hay una pregunta. After we've just read Genesis 7. Después de leer este pasaje. Verse 2. Versículo 2. How did he know? What clean? What was a clean animal and a dirty animal? Que es, cómo es, cómo él sabía que es un animal limpio y un animal que no son, que no es limpio. What do you think there, Carmen? ¿Qué piensa usted, Carmen? How did he know? Cómo es que él sabía? Because well, Moses wrote it down, right? Porque <laughs> Moisés lo escribió, ¿verdad? Para mí, como él tenía la Torah en su corazón, well, so. Uh, She, she says, uh, so she says that uh, Noah had the Torah in his heart, so he probably knew how to distinguish. Between what is kosher and what is unkosher. Does anybody agree with Carmen? Todos están de acuerdo con Carmen. You do, Ben? Why? Just because she's a beautiful, statuous, vintage woman? It was set in our hearts at that time. Where is it now? The sin in our hearts. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But we have it in written form to remind us of it. Ah. What do you think, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go get my I'm chest piece. <laughs> <laughs> How did no one know? <laughs> okay. okay. Esther had her hand up.
Turn. Okay. How do you know? How do you know? Turn to Bereshit, Genesis 2. Vamos a Genesis 2. Verse 17. Versículo 17. It's not on the notes. But I just love the word of God. How do you know? Except, or let's go to 16 and 17. Vamos al versículo 16 y 17. Jehovah Elohim gave the person this order. You may freely eat from every tree in the garden except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You are not to eat from it because on that day you eat from it it will become certain that you will die. Mm. What happened when Adam bit the fruit? ¿Qué pasó cuando Adam tomó esa fruta? They knew everything. Ellos ya sabían todo. And that knowledge was passed on all the way to Noah. Y esa sabiduría fue pasada hasta Noé. And us. Y a nosotros. Yes, Dayon? <laughs> LeBron's playing for Cleveland now. Yeah, <laughs> the Mets won last night. <laughs> yes, we're almost at 500. <laughs> His question is, if if the ser if the serpent was unclean, how is it that Noah allowed the serpent to go in, or did it sneak in, or? Because he said, you know, to get all the animals. Well, the snakes went into the ark too. Yeah. But he's saying it's a it's an unclean animal. Yeah, but there's only one set of the unclean. Solamente había un par. Because here it says in Genesis 7. Porque aquí dice en Genesis 7. Genesis 7. Go back to Genesis 7. Vamos a regresar a Genesis 7. Verse 2. 7, versículo 2. 7, versículo 2. Genesis 7, versículo 2. Of every clean animal you are to take seven couples, and of the animals that are not clean, one couple. God didn't want to remake everything. Dios no, quería, Dios no quería hacer todo de nuevo otra vez. So much work he took a day off. No, he didn't take a day off. <laughs> Tanto trabajo que tomó un día. <laughs> But this is, this is how you prove to everybody. <laughs> Pero así podemos comprobar a todos. That Torah is in your heart. Que el Torah está dentro de tu corazón. From Genesis 2. De Genesis 2. Because when they bit the fruit. Porque cuando ellos tomaron ese fruto. Downloaded into Adam's heart. Y entró al corazón de Adán. In a split second. En un segundo. Was all the knowledge. Uh, tenía toda esa sabiduría. He was a much better model than we are. Él era un mejor He was a supercomputer. Él era una computadora super. Okay. Soon as he bit. Cuando él comió de ese fruto. He died because he knew what sin was then. Él eh, murió porque él ya sabía que era el pecado. So a shepherd is there to protect. Así que un pastor está ahí para proteger. To gather the sheep. Para poder uh, recoger el, el rebaño. To keep the good ones. Para eh, mantener las uh, buenas ovejas. That's why I tell people, if you don't like the teachings here, leave. Es por eso que les digo a las gentes, si no les gusta la enseñanza de aquí, váyanse por Especially favor. if you're a gentile. Especialmente si eres why do gentil. I say that? Y por qué es que, eh, que digo esto? Because there's a promise in Genesis 12. Porque hay una promesa en Génesis 12. Verse 3. Versículo 3. That says about my people. Que dice de mi gente. I will bless those that bless Israel. Yo bendeciré a aquellos que bendicen And a Israel. I will curse those that curse. Y yo uh, maldeciré a aquellos que maldigan. So if you're coming to this congregation as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Así que si están viniendo a esta congregación como un lobo en uh, uh, piel de vestido de oveja. Trying to tear down the ministry. Para poder derrumbar el ministerio. Don't worry. 
No se preocupen. My king didn't make a covenant with your people. Mi rey no hizo ese pacto con sus gentes. He made it with my people. Él lo hizo con mi pueblo. And you're welcome to be part of that. Y ustedes son bienvenidos so para my, tomar parte de my eso. My job is to try to protect you. Pero mi trabajo es de protegerlos. Now, if you don't want that, Ahora, si no quieres esa protección, you know, it didn't say to take all the clean animals. No decía aquí, toma todo animal limpio. Just seven couples. Solamente siete parejas. Were there more than seven sets of uh, parrots? Había más de siete uh, uh, parejas de uh, Or uh, cows? loros. Were there more o, than seven sets of cows? O vacas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But God said only seven. Pero Dios dijo solamente siete. Seven couples of clean animals. Siete parejas de uh, animales limpios. All right, now, now the next question is going to come. Ahora la próxima pregunta viene. What about all the dogs? ¿Qué pasó con uh, todos los perros? There's like all different types of dogs. Había todo tipo de perro. Are they all dogs? Hay todos son perros. You know, is is a Great Dane the same as a poodle? Is a uh, Great Dane? Uh, como yeah, they're poodle? both dogs. They're all dogs. Son son uh, perros, ¿verdad? Okay. How, wait, how did you get the dinosaurs on the ark? Uh, ¿Cómo es que los dinosaurios se uh, subieron al arca? Is a crocodile a dinosaur? Es uh, un cocodrilo un dinosaurio? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a dinosaur. Yeah. Un, no, he is a dinosaur. Un cocodrilo es un dinosaurio. He's classified as a dinosaur. Es clasificado como un dinosaurio. So, were the dinosaurs on the ark? Así que los dinosaurios se eh, encontraban en el arca. You want to go deeper than that? Get answers in Genesis study on it. Vayan right. a Answers in right. Genesis hey. para poder. Answers in Genesis. They, they have Christians who are scientists and very good at their particular field. Answers in Genesis es un sitio web que pueden uh, ustedes ver. Uh, son cristianos que estudian uh, el libro de Génesis right? mm -hmm. uh, y ellos uh, hicieron un well, estudio muy profundo. They, they have like anthropologists, all the different, all the different forms of science in their organization. Tienen todo tipo de, um, de ciencia en su organización. They have a phenomenal website. Tienen un sitio muy fenomenal. And if you ever have an opportunity to go to the Creation Muse Museum, I hear it's spectacular. Y si tienen una eh, oportunidad de visitar el museo que ellos tienen, um, eh, yo oigo que es muy asombroso. Where's the Creation? Kentucky. So, don't go in the summer, it's hot and humid. Uh, Real hot and humid. Que es encontrado en Kentucky. Um, but I, I may want to try to get it for our homeschool group, you know, the whole set. It, it's a really phenomenal set. Es uh, eh, un museo muy fenómeno. But Sandy had the next question. Or is that about answers in Genesis? Yeah, you just got to get to Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be phenomenal. The museum is supposed to be. Because what they did, just, just to give you a little thing about, shh, active listening. Just to give you an idea, they fooled the whole science community. Para darles uh, una idea, ellos uh, hicieron un, uh, what, what did they do? They, they petrified a ham in a week. Ellos um, petrificaron. Petrificaron. petrificaron un pedazo de jamón en, un, en, un, en una semana y ellos uh, hicieron, tomaron un video y ellos trajeron este pedazo de jamón a la comunidad uh, científica they, uh, said, Look, we found this ham. y ellos les dijeron uh, hallamos este pedazo de jamón uh, petrificado were, was out. y todos estaban asombrados por esta uh, búsqueda It esta changes idea. everything oh esto cambia todo and then they showed them the videotape. y ellos les uh, mostraron el video because the oil everybody el aceite If it were actually billion, a billion years old, si uh, fuera uh, tuviera billones de años, uh, would have evaporated. Se hubiera evaporizado. Because the oil is in porous stone. 
porque, that means air gets in there. Por, uh, porque el aceite es encontrado en uh, piedras que uh, tienen poros if y el would, aire entra dentro de ellas. Si tuviéramos muchos años, billones de años, el aceite no estuviera This ahí. Is why we es por eso que nosotros enseñamos en la escuela. Eh, no es enseñado esto en escuelas regulares. Hurricane. What did the movie say? I don't know. You didn't watch it? I thought you were just quoting it with Diane. No, 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 no. Uh, the, the uh, no, the movie, like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's bad. It's terrible. See, yeah, it's bad to see movies because they never, they never like what the And plus, said. Russell Crowe can't act. But, <laughs> but the reason why I'm asking you is because, because he knew it was unclean or not unclean because God would. God know, led them led to him. him. He didn't have to go out and find the tigers. They so came. They came to him. Yeah, like, you know, come here, elephant. <laughs> Arr, come here. No, they came. They came to I'm not really, I'd have to reread it. I'm thinking off the top of my head that it doesn't say. So the assumption is they came. But if, what I can surmise is okay. that verse 2 says, of every clean, you're to take seven clean animals. El versículo 2 dice aquí, tomarás siete parejas uh, limpias. It implies it, but it doesn't say it specifically. Yeah, leave. Right. The reason why I'm asking you is because it's just like us. You know, I think when the, the, the chosen ones will, he'll lead us to the right place. He'll lead us to where, you know, God actually wants us to be. So I, in that, I, I believe the animals, how you say the animals got sorry, but that's, I mean, they're not like animals. Somehow they we got a thumb. <laughs> Somehow they were led to the, to the, to the. Well, the the animal knows the sound of God's voice. Right. El animal reconoce la voz de Dios. Because in Gen in Genesis nine. Porque en Genesis nueve. Um, the Lord says, I will demand an accounting from every human and every animal. El Señor va a pedir cuentas de todo animal y todo humano. You can't demand something if. They don't know. No puedes uh, uh, pedir por algo si ellos no reconocen. And the same goes with people. Y lo mismo uh, se aplica a la gente. The difference between us is we're redeemed. Uh, la única diferencia entre nosotros es que nosotros somos redimidos. Jehovah could talk to you all you want. Jehová puede hablar contigo todo. I'm todo sure lo que before you came here, he was talking to you. Antes de que vinieras aquí, él estaba hablando contigo. And you just didn't want to listen. Y tú no querías escuchar. And did, I want to do what I want to do. I'm a Puerto Rican woman. <laughs> yo quiero hacer lo que yo quiero hacer. Okay. Um, but one, we have to choose. Pero nosotros tenemos que escoger. Tenemos The animal que had to choose too because they have a soul. El animal también tuvo que elegir porque ellos tienen alma. But the redemption purpose is, is ours because of Yeshua. Pero el propósito de redención es de nosotros por Yeshua. Their blood had to be spilled for our salvation. El, uh, la sangre de ellos tuvo que ser derramada para nuestra salvación. Did I got to split you kids? I got to split you children over there? Well, why are you listening to them and not to me? A shepherd protects. What do you need, Margarita? They just heard me what you said about uh, you should be fair. Okay. Oh, they're talking about uh, the uh, seven two. Genesis seven two. Seven pairs of clean. Siete parejas de limpio. One pair of unclean. Y un par de no limpio. One couple of unclean. Una pareja de no limpios. Now that's even better. One couple. They ain't homos. No son homosexuales. Because you need a guy and a girl to 
have a baby. Porque se necesita un hombre y una mujer. There were no homos on the ark. Para poder tener bebés. Uh, yeah, but that's how you, this is how you slam the secularists. Es así como podemos uh, darle buen testimonio With a the los word seculares of God. con la palabra de the, Dios. Those that say they're Christian. Para aquellos que digan que son cristianos. Because it don't work. Porque no va a funcionar eso. You had a homo couple of lions on the ark. Si tuviéramos uh, leones uh, homosexuales en el arco, You ain't got ejemplo, no more lions. No van a tener más leones. So then, then the species would die out. Entonces esa especie va a morir, va a perecer. That's how you say checkmate. Es así como uh, podemos decir jaquemate. Knowing the word of God. Reconocer la palabra Don't de Dios. Don't call yourself a believer or a Christian if you want to tear down this word. No te uh, llames cristiano o seguidor de Dios si vas a tratar de derrumbar esta palabra. Esther, you had a question. A while back. We'll move on. Because we we need unclean animals. Well, the question is, why did he have unclean animals? Porque la pregunta es por qué es que él tuvo animales que no fueran limpios. Who's going to eat up the dead things? ¿Quién va a comer las cosas muertas? Yeah, well, like I mean, we need pigs for you know to. We, we, eat, you know, we need pigs stuff. to clean up dead stuff. Yeah. We need birds that have a hooked beak. Mm -hmm. We need birds that have a hooked beak. We need birds. Se necesita, <laughs> se necesita, se necesita uh, aves con uh, el uh, pico de gancho. Because they will eat up the dead stuff. Porque ellos van a comer las cosas muertas. Okay. All right. So the unclean animals are necessary. Así que los um, animales no limpios uh, se necesitaban. Because they eat things that the clean don't. Porque ellos comen cosas que los animales limpios no comen. And every animal has a purpose. Y cada animal tiene propósito. You know, that's where science is correct, where there is a food chain. Es ahí donde la ciencia sí está correcta, que hay una cadena de, de comer, de alimenticia. But it wasn't made by happenstance. Pero no fue hecha por circunstancia, por, por uh, coincidencia. Okay, it was made by somebody who has an incredible mind. Fue hecho por alguien que tiene una mente divina. You know, he made all those little creole fish. Él hizo todos esos uh, uh, pescaditos creel. Where the biggest mammal will eat all those little fish. Donde la uh, ma mamífera. mamífera va a comerse todas esas. Uh, But there was a plan. Pero había, había plan. And the little creel, the little fishies. Mm -hmm. They, the that's all they eat. And they're huge. Okay? Yes. Shh. Huh? They have a different classification. So where, 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 where do they differ? Answers in Genesis. We'll go through all that. I'm not going to go through all the ark right now. <laughs> 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 We're talking about a shepherd protects. Because We've wandered off the path right now. I've read Genesis and Exodus. Right. Answers in Genesis <laughs> goes through all the classifications. They're, it's a phenomenal study. I, I, like I said, maybe for the MHSA, we'll buy the whole set. I think it's $250. It's phenomenal. It's an incredible it's science. It's what our children need. Answers in Genesis, or Respuestas in Genesis, is a study very good. And it's algo muy profundo. And quizá para el MHSA, MHSA uh, compraremos el uh, set yeah. para poder estudiarlo. So uh, it's, it'll go through all the science. Of your, those questions, but right now va, we're talking about a shepherd protecting. Va a repasar todo, todas preguntas científicas, pero por ahorita vamos a regresar al nuestro estudio del pastor. And we're we're on this subject because of verse three in Genesis seven. Este, estamos en este sujeto por Génesis siete versículo tres. Noah brought these animals onto the ark. 
Noé trajo todos estos animales al arca. Jehová cerró la puerta. Y él tenía que estar con estos animales uh, más de un año. He was there to preserve their species. Él estaba allí para preservar esa especie. He was there to protect the animals. Él estaba allí para proteger a los animales. From the disaster that befell the earth. De lo, del desastre que cayó a la tierra. Going on to slide number 43. Ahora, continuando con la página 43. Let's turn to Psalm 12. Vamos a Salmo 12. Verse 7. Salmo 12, versículo 7. Psalm 12, Salmo 12, verse 7. versículo 7. Psalm 12, verse 7. Salmo 7, versículo... Uh, no, sea, Salmo 12, versículo 12. 7. Yes. Psalm 12, verse 7. You, Jehovah, protect us, guard us forever from this generation. So a shepherd is one who protects. Así que un pastor es alguien que protege. Where if uh, a woman is in need in the congregation. Donde si se encuentra una mujer que, se, que necesita en la congregación. She has a husband that's not walking with the Lord. Ella tiene un esposo que no está caminando con el Señor. And threatens her life. Y um, amenaza su vida. The men of the congregation are to go to pay that husband a visit. Okay. Los hombres de la congregación deberían de visitar a ese hombre. A shepherd protects his flock. Un pastor protege a su rebaño. David protected his flock from lots of different things. David protegió, protegió a su rebaño de muchas cosas. The hardest thing to protect from La cosa más eh, dura para proteger is your own mind. Es tu propia mente. Especially those that come here that are web surfers. Especialmente aquí a personas que les gusta buscar mucho en el internet. Like, you know, this whole thing that we were talking about with the Father, Son, and the Spirit. Como todo esto de el Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu Santo. Well, it comes from that one Bible, that, that new translation. Que viene de esa nueva traducción bíblica. And I said, did you at least find out where that translation came from? Y les pregunté, eh, ¿se dieron cuenta de dónde vino esa traducción? And when you look into it, y cuando miras, it comes from the black Hebrews. Viene de los uh, black as in African. Yes. Uh, viene de una traducción de hebreos que son uh, africanos nacionales. A whole group of Hay un, un grupo de personas call the black que se llaman los israelitas uh, African, or yes. African Israelites, mm -hmm. los africanos israelitas, That say they're the chosen people. que ellos dicen que son el pueblo escogido. That the in Israel right now que, are la, not Jews. que la gente de Israel que se encuentra ahorita no son judíos. Okay. Um, eh, you better, you're smoking some serious dope. <laughs> Entonces están uh, fumando algo. Uh, <laughs> Está, están you fumando got the best algo, ganja around. Está, está fumando algo muy extraño. I'm like, then why are they experiencing such problems? Why does everybody want to kill them? Y uh, es por eso que ellos se encuentran en muchos pro problemas muy severos. Their theology is really messed up. La teología de ellos eh, no, no tiene razón. You know, um, if you look into it, it just is like amazing how convoluted it is. Es muy asombroso qué tan revolvido es el pensamiento de But if you are personas. gonna follow somebody, pero si vas a seguir a alguien, make sure they have a statement of faith on their website. Uh, Desen cuenta si tienen uh, una declaración de fe. 
y léanlo antes de tomar su palabra como que si fuera el evangelio so a shepherd is there to protect you. así que un pastor está ahí para protegerlo like you come to me with a question Uh, si, uh, por ejemplo, si viene, I was uh, watching such and so on the web. Yo estaba viendo a tal persona en el YouTube. No, on YouTube. En YouTube. So that's what I do first. Uh, así que eso es lo que yo hago primero. <laughs> Because there's no backing of what, even though we're on YouTube. Porque aunque nosotros estamos en YouTube, it, they, they don't, you don't get more information. No uh, te dan más información. So how can Jehovah guard you ¿Cómo es que Jehová te puede guardar if you're going and eating junk? Si estás comiendo cosas que no son buenas. Or you're like a sheep that sees that shiny object. O eres como es, esa oveja que mira un objeto que le interesa. You know, every, there's a lot of people like this guy Michael Rood. Uh, hay personas como un tal rabino llamado no, he's not a rabbi. no es un rabino okay. he's he's some a, gentile that found out he's Jewish. es un gentil que se dio cuenta que era judío y ahora él da instrucción And he's got a nice show. y él tiene un programa And he's got bueno some money behind him. y tiene dinero And he dresses like the high priest. y él se uh, viste como um, un sumo sacerdote But his teachings are garbage pero sus enseñanzas son basura. He was a él, él era un pastor uh, uh, gentil. Y él se dio cuenta que era judío. So now he's gone at least to the Sabbath. Ahora él está observando el reposo. But he was never discipled. Pero él nunca fue discipulado. Cuando Come into this, you have to be deprogrammed from the Christian church. Cuando tú entras a este ministerio, tienes que ser deprogramado uh, de lo que aprendiste en la iglesia cristiana. Just like a Jew como who comes judío, in from Orthodox Judaism, como un judío que viene del judaísmo ortodoxo, has got to be deprogrammed from the Talmud. Tiene que ser deprogramado de el Talmud. Las so my job is to try to protect you. Así que mi trabajo es de protegerlos. So a shepherd protects. Así que un pastor protege. Look, turn to Psalm 16. Vamos a Salmos 16. Verse 1. Vamos a Salmos 16, versículo 1. Psalm 16. Salmos 16, versículo 1. Verse 1. Psalm 16, verse 1. Protect me, God, for you are my refuge. A shepherd is here to protect like God. Un pastor está aquí para proteger como Dios. With the teachings. Con las enseñanzas. This is why we the messages here are so long. Es por eso aquí que los mensajes son tan largos. You know, well, why do you go on for almost three hours? Uh, pues por qué uh, haces un um, uh, 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 Why do you uh, uh, Por qué enseñas por tres horas? Okay. Because I'm trying to give you information so you can protect yourself. Porque te estoy tratando de dar la información para que te puedas proteger. You know, that's why the messages have layer one, layer two, and layer three. Es por eso que muchos de los mensajes tienen nivel uno, dos, sección una, dos y tres. You know, I don't expect Benjamin to be at layer three yet. Yo no espero a Benjamin que esté, Benjamin, que esté en, el, en el tercer nivel. Because he's been here like a month now. Porque él ha estado aquí como por un mes. He's in layer one. Él apenas está en el primer nivel. But I expect Carmen to be at layer two or three. Pero yo espero que Carmen esté en el segundo o tercer nivel. Because she's been here a couple of years. Porque ella ya ha estado aquí por varios I años. I expect Veronica and Eduardo to definitely be in layer three. Yo espero a Veronica y Eduardo que estén en el nivel número tres. Because the word should be protecting you. Porque la palabra debería de protegerte. Si tú dices, oh, Satanás hizo esto, Satanás hizo el otro. Then you're not in God's word. Entonces tú no estás en la palabra de Dios. He would you if you were Porque his will. Él te protegería si tú estás siguiendo su voluntad. He would bless your home Porque Él va a bendecir tu if you were keeping Torah. Si tú estabas siguiendo el Torah. Because he promised that. Porque él prometió eso. So protection comes from this 613 
defense. Así que la protección viene de esta um, reja de 613 leyes. Okay. Where it keeps the evil out of your house. Donde te protege de esa maldad que entre a tu hogar. But if you have a shepherd, Pero si tú tienes un pastor who won't talk to you because you're a good tither. Que no te va a llamar la atención porque diezmas muy bien. I treat the people who give a dollar. Yo trato a las personas que dan un dólar. And the ones that give a thousand dollars. Y a aquellas personas que dan mil dólares. Everybody gets treated the same. Todas son tratadas igualmente. And if you're, if the dollar person is sinning, I'm going to talk to the dollar person. Y, y si uh, la persona que da diezma un dólar. Uh, tiene problemas yo voy a hablar and con person is sitting, I'm going to talk to the thousand y si la persona que da mil dólares diez más diez mil dólares está pecando voy a hablar con esa persona because we all are protected by the same law porque todos nosotros somos protegidos por esa misma ley we are all blessed by the same law nosotros somos bendecidos por esa misma ley so if we read verse one again así que si uh, leemos el versículo un, uno otra vez Protect me, God, for you are my refuge. My job is to teach you what that refuge is. Mi trabajo es de um, dejarte saber qué es ese refugio. How are you going to run into God's strong tower? ¿Cómo es que vamos a, po a poder entrar a esa torre fuerte de Dios? If you don't if you're not taught what protection is si no son enseñados qué es protección then qué es protección then you're going to run into the straw house entonces vas a entrar a una casa hecha de paja instead of the strong house en vez de entrar a esa casa fuerte now look, turn to chapter psalm 17 verse 8 uh, vamos a salmo 17 versículo 8 psalm 17 verse 8 this is a real Amazing one for protection. Protect me like the pupil of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Here, a shepherd protects their flock. Aquí, um, el pastor uh, protege a su rebaño. Like your eyeball. Como tu ojo. Anybody ever get a, even an eyelash in their eye? Uh, aquí alguien ha, ha, ha tenido como una ceja How que painful. le entra al ojo. How painful that could be, irritating tan, that is. Tan doloroso y irritante es eso. So, one sec. So, a shepherd has to, has to think of his flock. Así que un pastor tiene que ver a su rebaño. Like each one of you is an eye. Como si ustedes fueran ese ojo. And this is why when a pastor does not teach the Bible study. Y es por eso que cuando un pastor no enseña eh, lo que está en la Biblia and doesn't spend time with his flock, y no uh, toma ese tiempo para estar con ese rebaño. Like you look at Joel Osteen. Uh, por ejemplo, vamos a ver a ese pastor llamado Joel Osteen de la, de la iglesia cristiana. How could you even possibly be protecting those people? ¿Cómo es que tú posiblemente puedes proteger a esa persona? 30 mil personas. That, yeah, you don't know anybody. No conoces a nadie. What Bible study is he teaching? ¿Qué estudio bíblico está él enseñando? Well, I got leaders for that. Oh, yo tengo uh, líderes para eso. Are you overseeing that? Are you in the class sometimes? ¿Estás en las clases? A shepherd is there to protect an eye is very sensitive. Un pastor está allí para proteger. Un ojo es uh, una área muy uh, sensible. Yes, Juan. Um, here in um, in this translation, it says, uh, "Guard me like the like the uh, daughter of your eyes." Um, the daughter? Yeah, como la niña, como a la niña de tus ojos. The apple of your eye. The apple of your eye. Really? That's what la niña yeah. means. Mm. It's, that's, like, it's people. It's like the same. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. La niña de mis ojos. I was like, yeah, because you you had said the people of your people. people. Oh, the pupil. Of pupil. Your eye. That little black thing. Oh, okay. La pupila. Okay. Okay. 
And that, that's interesting. That's a, you know, that is a, a very amazing part of your body. Es uh, una parte muy, muy, uh, sí, delicada. How it lets light in, you know, to exactly what you need. Deja entrar la luz y te da lo que necesitas. Do you know, actually, when you're looking at things, everything's upside down? Ustedes saben que cuando ustedes miran las cosas, when están... Really, What, what happens is the image comes in, la imagen entra, goes to the back of your eye, llega a, aquí detrás de tus ojos, and it's upside down. Y está al revés. Your brain flips it over. Tu cerebro lo, eh, lo, uh -huh. lo, lo pone en, en, en uh, como es. Yes? So we're actually lo, 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 You're looking at it like uh, if, if you are hanging upside down. That's how... Everything is really seen in, in the back of your eyeball. Si estuvieran colgados arriba hacia abajo, así es como esa se mira dentro de tu cerebro. Pero el cerebro es el que lo. Your brain flips it over. Okay. Es el que lo pone del lado derecho. So a shepherd is there to flip over your stuff. Así que un pastor está allí para poder ayudarte con tus cosas. When Yeshua flipped the tables over in the in the temple. Cuando Yeshua volteó las uh, uh, mesas. They had made the temple a marketplace. Y hicieron a ese templo uh, un lugar de uh, comercio. So he was protecting his flock. Así que él estaba protegiendo a su rebaño. You know, even during the mikvah, you know, some people middle of the mikvah. Y durante Uh, el, la, el bautizo uh, varias gentes durante el bautizo ellos estaban hablando no, I, I stopped everything. no y tuve que parar todo This is something holy we're doing, everybody. porque es algo santo que estamos haciendo okay. so, I'm there to protect you. así que yo estoy allí para protegerlos cool. si no están aquí para protección pues, the door. ahí está la puerta And leave. Pueden irse. There's other people that are nicer than me. Hay muchas personas que son más more eh, handsome than me. Más buenas que yo, eh, que son más eh, uh, soothing voices. Eh, tienen uh, una voz muy uh, uh, suave. They won't tell you anything bad. Ellos no te van a decir nada malo. Yeah, when God made me, he seriously broke it. <laughs> Don't make another one of those. <laughs> But I'm here to protect you. Like pero, you're my pupils. pero yo estoy aquí para protegerlos como si fueran mis pupilas. And, but I, I'm also not gonna run after you. Pero tampoco yo no voy a correr detrás de ti. I'll call you once. Yo te llamaré It's una your vez. Choice. Es tu, es tu eh, decisión. You're adults. Ustedes son adultos. But while you're here, I'll give you every piece of armor that you could put on. Pero cuando ustedes estén aquí, yo les voy a dar uh, todo tipo de armamento. But that's the shepherd's job. Pero ese es el uh, trabajo del pastor. We're not here to make friends. No estamos aquí para hacer amistades. I'm here to get you across to the other side. Yo estoy aquí para ayudarlos que crucen al otro lado. A long time ago, I gave a message called the drill sergeant. Hace años atrás. Uh, que di un mensaje llamado Drill Sergeant o el Sargento de um, uh, uh, como militar. When you're in war, Cuando están en la guerra, you're gonna love your drill sergeant. ustedes van a amar a ese sargento. Because that guy got you through basic training. Porque ese hombre te uh, trajo uh, sobre ese entrenamiento básico. He taught era. you how to put your gun back together. Él te enseñó cómo armar tu uh, tu arma. While he was screaming at you. Cuando él estaba uh, gritando. So that you could do it under duress. Cuando lo pudiera uh, para poder hacerlo uh, durante uh, stress. My job is to get you to the other side. Mi trabajo es de ayudar los que crucen al otro lado. Turn to John 17. Vamos al Evangelio de Juan. Slide 44. Capítulo 17. Página 44. John 17. Juan 17. Talking on 17, verse 14 through 17. Versículo 14 al 17. John 17. Juan 17. Slide 44. 
Página 44. Verse 14 to 17. Versículo um, 14 al 17. I have given you, given them your word, and the word hate. Uh, sorry. I have given them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I myself do not belong to the world. I don't ask you to take them out of the world, but to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Set them apart for holiness by means of the truth. Your word is truth. Okay? So you see Yeshua saying in verse 14. Aquí podemos ver que Yeshua está diciendo en el versículo 14. What did he give them? ¿Qué es lo que él dio? The word. La palabra. What is the word? ¿Qué es la palabra? Ephesians, right? Efesios, ¿verdad? No, that's not what he gave them. No, no es lo que les dio. The book of Acts. Uh, el libro de Hechos. Because you know in the book of Acts they say, you know, you just can't eat food, uh, uh, you know, done to idols. Por, uh, porque dice en Hechos que no pueden comer comidas uh, uh, sacrificadas a otros dioses. So what's going to protect you? Así que ¿qué es lo que te va a proteger? The word. La palabra. And what was Yeshua quoting from? Que estaba citando Yeshua aquí. The 39 books of the Old Testament. Los 39 libros del Antiguo Testamento. A shepherd protects you. Un pastor te protege. By giving you the word. Por darte esa palabra. I'm not saying that the New Testament is not scripture. Yo no estoy diciendo que el Nuevo Testamento no es escritura. What I'm saying is what is Yeshua quoting from Here. Lo que estoy diciendo es que es lo que está citando Yeshua And what aquí. Is going to protect you. Y que es lo que te va a proteger. Seis uno tres. Seis uno tres. Seis uno tres. <laughs> That's what's going to protect you. Eso es lo que te va a proteger. And the world's going to hate you because of it. Y el mundo te va a odiar por esta razón. But nobody's going to be able to touch you. Pero nadie te va a proteger. If you're keeping the law. Si estás guardando la ley because it's a fence Amen. that separates you porque es esa uh, what was that cerca. Cerca, no. cerca que te está separando ok look at verse uh, 15 again please vamos a ver el versículo 15 I don't ask you to take them out of the world but to protect them from the evil one Amen. how are you going to get protected como es ¿Qué vas a hacer guardado? If you're living like the world. Si estás viviendo como el mundo. My job is to protect you. Mi trabajo es de protegerte. But I'm not going to allow sin into the camp. Pero no voy a dejar permitir que ese pecado entre al campo. You know, if God forbid we, the world goes crazy and we got to live in community. Um, Dios no favorezca esto, pero si sí, tenemos que vivir en la comunidad. We're going to live one way, guys. Solamente vamos a vivir de una manera. If you mess up, y si ustedes, the rules be the rules. Y si ustedes uh, no están siguiendo las reglas, las reglas son las reglas. And if it says stone, we will stone. Y si las reglas dicen apedrear, vamos a apedrear. Because what's going to protect us from Porque evil? Porque qué es lo que nos va a proteger the de word. la maldad? La palabra. And we, you know, before you come in, there'll be a time where we're going to read the whole Torah. Antes de que entren, vamos a leer todo ese Torah. The whole Torah before we, we live in that community. Todo el Torah antes de vivir en esa comunidad. That way, you will be, you can't say, I didn't know. Así que no pueden decir, yo no sabía. You all did, because we read it to you. Ustedes sabían esto. So, Yeshua is saying, I want to protect people. Así que Yeshua está diciendo, yo quiero proteger. But the only way... You can be protected. Pero la única manera que puede ser protegido is if you follow the word. Es si están siguiendo For in the beginning palabra. was the word. Porque en el comienzo era la palabra. And the word was with God. Y la palabra era con and Dios. And the word be God. Y la palabra Glory era Dios. Glory be to God. <laughs> Gloria a Dios. Okay. So he's given us what? Así que que él nos ha dado. Look at verse 17. Vamos a ver el versículo 17 ahora. Set them apart for holiness by means of the truth. Your word is truth. Chipping. Hake mate. Hake mate. Sounds so, so Japanese. Don't sound Spanish. Okay. So here, how do you get separated? How can you be protected? Así que como es que podemos ser santificados? By being holy. Por ser How 
Give me one of those. I got to do my, my. Of course, you know what? That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Shows you how old I am. <laughs> By means of truth. What is truth? ¿Qué es la verdad? Yeshua said, I'm the truth. Yeshua dice, yo soy la verdad. What, what is the end of verse 17? ¿Qué es el final del de versículo Your 17? Your word is truth. Oh, ¿Tu palabra check es me. verdad? Check me. Amen. Ah, so if you got a shepherd Así que si tienen un pastor that says, you don't need the Old Testament anymore, que dice, ya no necesitan el Antiguo Testamento, you just got a Mercedes Benz. Uh, Tú recibiste un Mercedes Benz. Or a Porsche. O un Porsche. Or a Lamborghini. O un carro Lamborghini. And you let the car doors open. Y tú dejaste las puertas abiertas. The car running. El carro estaba uh, en, uh, uh, prendido. And you went into the supermarket. Y tú entraste a ese mercado. That's what a place is that says you don't need to follow the Old Testament anymore. Eso es lo que es ese lugar que te dice ya no necesitas que Jesus will protect me. las las uh, leyes yeah, Jesús right. me va a proteger That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying there. Going on the slide 45. Okay, <laughs> continuando con la página 45. The hook. <laughs> the The fifth part of a, what a shepherd's job is. La quinta parte de lo, eh, del trabajo del pastor. The shepherd equips the Kohanim for their service. Okay. El pastor le da equipo para eh, el sacerdote, para su servicio, para el servicio de ellos. How do I equip you? ¿Cómo es que te voy a dar ese, ese armamento? Oh, that's all right. Go ahead, fornicate. God will forgive you. Oh, está bien. Uh, forniquen. Uh, Dios los ama. That's okay. <coughs> Watch those movies that have nudity. Oh, está bien. Miren esas uh, uh, películas que tienen uh, desnudez. Go watch Fifty Shades of Grey. Go ahead. Miren esa película, Fifty Shades of Grey. You know, go... Uh, Go gambling, it's okay. Vayan a, a, a jugarse la suerte. <coughs> How are you equipped? ¿Cómo es que van a estar equipados? If the shepherd is not a, teaching you, if he's not protecting you. Si el pastor no te está protegiendo. If he is not keeping the Sabbath. Si él no está guardando el reposo. Then he is not equipping you at all. Entonces él no te está dando ese armamento. If he is not keeping the holy days. Si él no está guardando los días santos. How are you equipping the saints for their service? ¿Cómo es que estás uh, dándole ese armamento a los santos You're para el servicio? You're equipping them with evil. Los estás les estás dando maldad. I know this is hard to hear, but Christmas is evil. Yo sé que esto es algo muy Uh, duro para escuchar you know, que el, el, la Navidad es maldad. You know, I've had a lot of Christians say to me. He tenido muchos uh, cristianos que me han hecho la pregunta. About the Christmas tree. Oh, it's it's del, evergreen. It's like God's love. Del uh, uh, del árbol de Navidad. Es como el amor de Dios. Es tan verde. Then why didn't Yeshua put one up in his house? Entonces, ¿por qué Yeshua no puso uno en su casa? Checkmate. Ah, que mate. Okay. What is the activity of a Kohanim? What is the activity of a priest? ¿Qué es la actividad de un sacerdote? Your job is to stand be in the gap. Tu trabajo es estar en medio. But if you walk down the middle of the road and you don't have any armor on. Pero si estás uh, uh, caminando en medio del camino y no tienes armamento. How can you protect your children? Entonces, ¿cómo puedes proteger a tus hijos? If you ain't getting up early. Si no te estás levantando eh, temprano. If you're not teaching your kid. Si no estás enseñándole a tu hijo. Deuteronomy 6 says what? Deuteronomio 6 dice que. You are to teach your children at home. Tenemos que enseñar a los hijos en casa. But how we make it? Pero ¿cómo es que lo vamos a hacer? Don't worry, trust. Confíen. Trust. Confíen. <coughs> And have your husband get a second job. Y que tu esposo uh, tenga un segundo trabajo. That's his job. Ese es el trabajo. Our de. job is to provide. 
Nuestro trabajo es para proveer. A woman's job is to teach the children. El trabajo de la mujer es enseñarle a los niños. I don't care if I got to sweep up the streets. Yo no, a mí no me importa si tengo que limpiar calles. I don't want my kids in a public school. Yo no quiero mis hijos en escuelas públicas. I don't care if I have to live in a one room shack. A mí no me importa si tengo que vivir en un cuarto. I'll trust in my king. Yo voy a confiar en mi rey. You have to stand between the devil and your children. Ustedes tienen que pararse firmemente entre el diablo y sus hijos. And the American public school system is from the pit of hell. Y la escuela pública de los Estados Unidos eh, viene del infierno. A shepherd's job is equip you for your job as parent. El trabajo del pastor es para proteger a sus hijos. And we're working very diligently on running a parent class. Y nosotros estamos uh, trabajando para tener clases a, para padres, diseñados para padres. Because you're supposed to be a nation of priests. Porque nosotros tenemos que ser una nación de sacerdotes. That's why active listening is important. Es por eso que escuchar activamente es tan importante. On one hand, you're serving the king. Porque on one hand you're serving the king. Porque en una mano están sirviendo al rey. And on the other hand, you're serving your children, your husband, your wife. Y en la otra mano están sirviendo a sus hijos, a su esposo o a su esposa. Shepherd, my job is to equip you for your job. Mi trabajo como pastor es darle ese armamento a ustedes para su trabajo. That's why once a month we do the women's ministry. Es por eso que una vez al mes hacemos ese ministerio de las mujeres. And it's sad when there's some women of the congregation that leave. Y es triste cuando uh, ciertas mujeres de la congregación Or they don't want to listen to my wife. O no quieren escuchar a mi esposa. But we've only been doing this ministry for almost 11 years now. Pero nosotros hemos hecho este ministerio por 11 años. And uh, it's sad when you don't want to go through that. Y es uh, triste cuando uno no quiere uh, pasar esto, no quiere For the men, I'm going to try to do something on a Sunday like once a month. Pero para los hombres voy a tratar de hacer algo en, en un domingo Because cada we, mes. You know, I can't teach the road to Emmaus and then teach the men. Porque yo, no, to teach the road to porque yo no puedo enseñar um, el camino a Emmaus y uh, enseñar a los hombres. The shepherd has to equip you. El pastor te tiene que dar ese equipaje. How to be men. ¿Cómo poder ser hombres? What, what is your role as a man? ¿Qué es nuestro papel como un hombre? Not in the world. No como en el mundo. See, a, a man is a provider for his home. Un hombre es un proveedor para su familia para su hogar. A man has no time to play video games. Un hombre no tiene tiempo para jugar eh, videos. A man has no time to watch television. No tiene tiempo para ver la televisión. Because you are the priest of your house. Porque tú eres el sacerdote my, de tu casa. My job is to equip you for that. Mi trabajo es para darte ese equipaje a ti. Um, a, a shepherd equips new priests. Un pastor a uh, equipa a nuevos sacerdotes enter into this service. para poder entrar a este tipo de servicio. Like I didn't take lightly laying hands on Will this past Shabbat. Como yo no tomé eh, livianamente eh, ponerle las mis manos sobre Will. For the last two years he didn't miss one class. He missed a half a class. Por los últimos dos años él no se perdió ninguna clase. Eh, solamente una media clase. It was time to raise him up. Era tiempo de levantarlo. Each man should be desiring that. Cada hombre debería de desear esto. Maybe not into the rabbinic ship. Uh, um, quizás no a ser rabino. But you should be leaders in the community. Pero tienen que ser líderes en su comunidad. You should be leaders in your homes. Tenemos que ser líderes en nuestros hogares. Not just with this, no con nuestros músculos, but with this, pero sino con nuestro cerebro, with the heart, con nuestro corazón. I want to be the best husband. Yo quiero ser el mejor esposo. And ladies, y mujeres, you want to learn how to be like queen. Ustedes uh, quieren ser como una reina. Not the queen bee. No la reina abeja. Not that. No ser uh, uh, 
uh, de mandar but a woman who is equipped pero una mujer que sea buen equipado the proverbs 31 woman la mujer de proverbios 31 running a business you poder, can run a business poder correr un negocio but she's taking care of her home at the same time pero ella está uh, cuidando su hogar she gets up early she goes to bed late ella se levanta temprano y se acuesta tarde the job of the shepherd el trabajo del pastor is to teach you what the Bible says. Because it's a lot different than the world. You know, I, I, you know, people, their eyes bugged out. Lo, lo, uh, hubo muchas personas que uh, se asombraron mucho. When I picked up little Isabel at the party. Cuando levanté a la pequeña Isabel. Because she was screaming. Porque ella estaba gritando. And I picked her up and put her on the chair. Y la levanté y la puse en la silla. And yelled at her. Y yo le grité. You know, inside of 10 seconds, she stopped screaming now, didn't she? En 10 segundos, esa niña se calmó. But her daddy's got to learn how to do that too. Pero su papá tiene que aprender cómo hacer esto también. He's got to learn how to be a priest. Él tiene que... Um, saber cómo ser un sacerdote. We could, we could t when Connor and Tristan were that age. Cuando Connor y Tristan tenían esa edad. We could take them to my mother's house. Yo la pod los podía llevar a la casa de mi mamá. And my mother's house was not a kid friendly house. Y la casa de mi mamá no era uh, um, <laughs> algo uh, amistoso hacia los niños. She had a thousand dollar gold glass table in the living room. Ella tenía una uh, mesa hecha de completamente de vidrio y de oro. She had Erte statues in the, the den. Ella tenía estatuas uh, de mucho valor. Let's just say they're not cheap. Vamos a decir que no son que no son uh, uh, But I would baratos. tell my, my children Yo les decía a mis hijos Don't touch it. No toquen. My job is to equip my boys to be husbands one day. Mi trabajo es de enseñarle a mis hijos que ellos sean buenos esposos un día. Let's go on to Ephesians 6, please. Vamos Slide a, 46. Vamos a Efesios 6. We have four more left. I think we got, uh, yeah, two more after this. Ephesians 6, verse Ep 10 through 17. Ephesians 6, versículos 10 al 16. The kids are having a great time. Oh, my. <laughs> But we got pretzels. I'm going to light my pretzel on fire. <laughs> Finally, grow powerful in union with the Lord, in union with his mighty strength, use all the armor and weaponry that God provides so that you will be able to stand against the deceptive tactics of the adversary. For we are not struggling against human beings, but against rulers and authorities and cosmic powers governing this darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realm. So take up every piece of war equipment God provides so that when the evil day comes, you will be able to resist. And when the battle is won, you will still be standing. Therefore, stand. Have the belt of truth buckled around your waist. Put on the righteousness as a breastplate. And wear on your feet the readiness that comes from the good news of shalom. Always carry the shield of trust with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of deliverance along with the sword given by the spirit that is... The word of God. What's the sword? ¿Qué es la espada? The word. La palabra de Dios. Do you think Paul was talking about his own writing here? ¿Ustedes creen que Pablo estaba hablando de sus propias escrituras What aquí? do you think he was talking about? ¿Qué estaba hablando él? What do you think he was talking about? <laughs> ¿Qué creen que estaba él hablando? What do you think he was talking about? ¿Qué crees? He was talking about the Torah. Él estaba hablando del Torah. How can you grow powerfully in union with the Lord? ¿Cómo es que uno puede crecer con, en unión con el, uh, con el Señor? If you got a shepherd 
that's telling you you don't need the Old Testament. Si ustedes tienen un pastor que les está diciendo no tienen no necesitan el Antiguo Testamento. If you got a shepherd that's not keeping kosher. Si tienen un pastor que no se está manteniendo kosher. If you got a shepherd that's there every Sunday but not on the Sabbath. Si tienen un pastor que está ahí todos los domingos pero no en el reposo. Okay. The other part about this. La otra parte de esto. Is all this equipment? Todo este armamento is all the stuff that the high priest wears. Es todas las cosas que el sumo sacerdote uh, tiene puesto. The helmet of deliverance. El yelmo de la liberación. The, the, co the Kohen Hagadol el, uh, sumo sacerdote had a turban on. Tenía un turban. And what was on the front of that turban? Que, que se encontraba frente del uh, turban. Kadosh Yehovah, holy <laughs> to the Lord. The helmet of deliverance. El yelmo de la liberación. Having a mind of God. Tener una mente hacia Dios. A belt of truth. Una faja de, de uh, verdad. What did the high priest wear around his belt? Que es belly. Que es lo que él se ponía aquí. En, He had a belt. A tenía, very specific belt. Él tenía una faja, una faja específica. A righteousness for a breastplate. Y um, la justicia para el um, breastplate. Um, yeah. Uh, verse 14. Coraza. Coraza. Okay. Coraza de justicia. What was the high priest wearing? Que era lo que el sumo sacerdote. The ephod. Tenía el ephod. Ese, esa coraza. The ephod. Okay. El ephod. Tribes of Israel on his chest. Las tribus de Israel en su uh, pecho. So if you're not being taught this, así que si no es, están siendo enseñado esto. How do you get a helmet of deliverance? ¿Cómo es que uno va a recibir What, ese yelmo de liberación? ¿Qué van a ordenar Chinese pizza? Food, what? ¿Van a ordenar uh, comida china? What is this shield of trust? ¿Qué es esa, ese escudo de uh, confianza? All the things that the high priest had to go into the most holy place. Eran todas las cosas, el armamento que se ponía el sumo sacerdote para poder entrar a ese lugar santo. Slide 47. Okay, página 47. Exodus, Shemot 28, please. Exodus 28, por favor. Verse 37 to 39. Versículo 37 al 39. Exodus 28, verse 37 to 39. And this is what Paul was talking about y in esto Ephesians. Y esto es lo que Pablo estaba hablando en Efesios. Fasten it to the turban with a blue cord in front of the turban over Aaron's forehead because Aaron bears the guilt for any errors committed by the people of Israel in consecrating their holy gifts. This ornament is always to be on his forehead so that the gifts for Jehovah will be accepted by him. You are to weave the checkered tunic of fine linen, making a turban of fine linen, and make, make a belt the work of a weaver in colors. That's what Rav Shaul is talking about in Ephesians that we just read. Eso es lo que está hablando Pablo en Efesios. And then we have a whole study on our website. Y tenemos un estudio en nuestro sitio de web. Of uh, probably 10 hours of study on the Ephesian scripture. Probablemente 10 horas sobre esas escrituras en Efesios. So go to our education button. Así que vayan a nuestro botón de and educación. And discipleship television. Y vayan a eh, la televisión de discípulos. And then go to todos, armor of God. Y vayan a armadura de Dios. We have 10 hours of study. Tenemos 10 horas de estudio. And then if you want a DVD about it, send a donation and tell me what you want. Y si quieren un uh, uh, DVD, disco compacto, uh, den una ofrenda. My job is to equip you with all these things. Mi trabajo es para equiparlos con todas estas cosas. Deprogram you from the Christian church. Deprogramarlos de la iglesia cristiana. 
y de programarlos de congregaciones mesiánicas que están enseñando el tam, Talmud. For Torah is for all people. Porque el Torah es para toda la gente. And it is still in effect today. Y todavía está en, es efectivo. Uh, hasta hoy día. How do I put on a helmet of deliverance if I don't know what deliverance is? ¿Cómo es que me puedo poner ese yelmo de liberación si no sé qué es eso? Deliver me from what? Liberarme de qué? Sin. Well, what sin? Pues que es el pecado. Huh? Right. That's why you gotta know Torah. Es por eso que tenemos que saber qué es el Torah. Torah is for everybody. Porque el Torah es para todos. And let's go to our last uh, scripture there for Vamos. this uh, uh, section of shepherd. Vamos a la última escritura aquí uh, de este estudio. Slide de number pastor. 48. Página 48, por Turn favor. Turn to 1 Peter chapter 2, please. Vayan a primera de Pedro, capítulo 2. 1 <coughs> Peter chapter 2, excuse me. Versículo 1 al 9. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 through 9. First Peter chapter 2, verse 1 through 9. Kepha Aleph. You getting anything there, Reuben? I'm quit you tomorrow. Oh, Primera de Pedro, capítulo 2, versículo 1 al 9. <coughs> got, it, you got it over there? Primera de Pedro, capítulo 2, versículo 1 al 9. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice, of all deceit, hypocrisy and envy, and of all the ways there are of speaking against people. And be like newborn babies, thirsty for the pure milk of the word, so that by it you may grow up into deliverance. For you have tasted that Jehovah is good. As you come to him, the living stones rejected by people, but chosen by God and precious to him. You yourselves as living stones are being built into a spiritual house to be co set apart for God to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to him through Yeshua the Mashiach. This is why the Tanakh says, look, I am laying in Zion a stone, a chosen and precious cornerstone. And whoever rests his trust on it will certainly not be humiliated. Now to you, who keep trusting, he is precious. But to those who are not trusting, the very stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Also, he is a stone that will make people stumble, a rock over which they will trip. They are stumbling at the word, disobeying it, as had been planned. But you are a chosen people the king's co-name, a holy nation, a people for God to possess. Why? In order for you to declare the praises of the one who called you out of darkness and in to his wonderful light. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Okay. Amen. Amen. A shepherd equips you Un pastor de, de ese equipaje. for verse 4 and 5. Para el, el versículo 4 y 5. How are you being built up? ¿Cómo es que nosotros somos levantados? If we say that we just live under grace, grace, grace. Si nosotros vivimos bajo la gracia, gracia, gracia. Well, then we build up, we tear down. We build up, we tear down. Entonces le nos levantamos y nos derrumbamos. Levantamos y derrumbamos. Being built up into a spiritual house. Ser levantados a una casa espiritual means being built up one stone at a time. Significa ser levantado una piedra a la vez. Starting with that cornerstone. Empezando con esa eh, uh, uh, piedra del ángulo. And starting there and following the proper blueprint. Empezar aquí y luego seguir las instrucciones apropiadas. But if a shepherd is not protecting you, Pero si un pastor no te está protegiendo, if a shepherd is not guiding you, si un pastor no te está guiando, if a shepherd is not living the life that he's supposed to, 
si un pastor no está viviendo esa luz que debería de seguir. If a shepherd is following Romanized teaching, si el pastor está siguiendo uh, enseñanzas romanizadas, such as Sunday worship, como la adoración en el domingo, then you're not going to be able to offer spiritual sacrifices en, acceptable to God. Entonces no pueden dar ofrendas uh, santas que sean uh, santificadas por Dios. For God never said to switch his Sabbath. Porque Dios nunca dijo que cambien mi reposo. Look at verse 2. Vamos a ver el uh, versículo 2. And be like newborn babies thirsty for the pure milk of the word so that by it you may grow up into deliverance. What's pure? ¿Qué es puro? Would Yeshua's example be pure? Sería las enseñanzas de Yeshua puras. So if your shepherd is not following that example, Así que si tu pastor no está siguiendo ese ejemplo. And he's not knowing when the holy days are. Y él no sabe cuándo son los días santos. But you better believe they're getting ready for their Christmas concert. Pero ellos están uh, preparándose para su concierto right, de Navidad. Maybe you guys get ready for your Christmas concerts. Y uh, se preparan And para. You were there on December 25th, right? Festejos navideños y uh, estaban allí en el diciembre 25. How oh, many people have come here? Oh yeah, gotta go to get, they gotta go to have that December 25th. Tenemos ese uh, uh, diciembre 25. Oh, right, did you do Easter? O, uh, uh, celebran Did la you do Easter, you know, a special service for Ishtar, I mean Easter? Y si tienen ese servicio de Ishtar, de, de cuaresma. That's not pure, that's got arsenic in it. Eso no es puro, eso tiene uh, veneno. So thirsty for the pure milk of the word. Así que tener uh, esa sed para. Ariana, uh, and then I think Steve had his hand up. La leche pura. It's an, when he talks about scripture, uh, uh, in the, the Stearns version, he's saying Tanakh because the the stone laying in Zion is not in Torah. Tanakh is the Old Testament. Oh, it's an, an acronym. Talmud. Yeah, Talmud. Talmud son las enseñanzas de los rabinos que no son del Torah sino son enseñanzas yeah, comentarios básicamente del Torah pero no es la palabra de Dios ok any questions before we close in the shepherd section ok preguntas uh, sobre lower than hell. Too much is given, much is required. I don't get to make the same mistake. Yo no puedo ser, cometer los errores de muchas personas. How many mistakes did Moses get to make? ¿Cuántos uh, errores uh, cometió Moisés? Y él no entró. Forty years dealing with all them Jews and Gentiles. 40 años de, uh, li, um, de uh, yeah, estar con los judíos y con los gentiles. That's why you got to be trained. For my job. In the other, in the other, how, how do we guard ourselves? ¿Cómo es que nos podemos guardar? For my job, you don't want it. Mi trabajo, tú no lo quieres. You got to be called. Tú tienes que ser llamado a este puesto. You got To really know that God wants you in this role. Tú tienes que saber de verasmente que Dios te quiere en este papel. After he smacked me on the back of the head, I was like, okay. Después de que me dio esa gol ese golpe detrás de mi cabeza. But a lot of people don't understand. Pero that, mu muchas personas no entienden. Because it ties together with Ezekiel 33. Porque esto interlaza con Ezequiel 33. You're the watchman. Tú eres el atalaya. And their blood is on your hands. Y la sangre de ellos va a estar en tus manos. And if you murder them with your teachings, y si tú uh, los asesinas con tus enseñanzas, you ain't getting in. no vas a entrar. And if you ain't getting in, you're going to a place lower than hell. 
Y si tú no entras, vas a entrar a un lugar más bajo que el infierno. And I don't know how bad that is. Y yo no sé qué tan malo va a ser esto. But if you're just a teacher, Pero si tú eres un uh, maestro, then you're under the covering of somebody else. Entonces tú estás bajo la cobertura de alguien más. Like, you know, my wife is under my covering for the children's ministry. Como mi esposa está bajo mi cubrimiento para el ministerio de los niños. And that's why also I want to start meeting with the teachers. Y es por eso, y es por eso que también quiero um, estar con los maestros. So that we can, you know, because I don't want to get whacked for something that I didn't take notice of. Porque yo no quiero ser castigado por algo que yo no tomé nota. But like an evangelist doesn't have nearly the responsibility that I do. Un evangelista no tiene la responsabilidad que yo tengo. Yeah. Yeah, Shepherd has a tremendous amount of responsibility. Un pastor tiene una responsabilidad muy tremenda. And once he falls, he falls. Y cuando él cae, ya cae. You don't put him back in his position. Ya no lo pones en su posición. And how do I prove that? Y cómo es que puedo comprobar esto? What happened to Aaron's sons? ¿Qué pasó con los hijos de Aaron? Yep, you don't get to mess up. No pueden cometer errores. Benjamin. That's evangelist. That, that's more than evangelist. Yes. Yeah. So that's less. You know, you're just testifying. Sandy. Um, now that we're talking about you know church and you are pastor, um, in the message um, chat, you had mentioned that you are here. You're not here for the fun, right? So can you explain to me a little bit? What Sandy's asking is in the message on Shabbat called Surrender. Okay, uh, lo que Sandy está preguntando es sobre el mensaje que di uh, llamado uh, rendimiento, Surrender. I said I'm not here for you. Yo dije que yo no estoy aquí para ustedes. No, I'm here because God wants me here. Yo estoy aquí porque Dios me quiere aquí. <laughs> One of my, and I'll say this plainly. Y yo lo voy a decir esto plenamente. I hate doing this. Yo no me gusta hacer esto. You're here in this country, speak the language. Si ustedes están aquí en este país, hablen el lenguaje. But God made me the way I am. Pero Dios me hizo de la manera que yo soy. To be strong enough to persevere through your culture. Para ser fuerte, para perseverar uh, en sus culturas. I'm here because the Lord sent me. Yo estoy aquí porque Dios me mandó aquí. I'm here because he cares. Yo estoy aquí porque él uh, es bondadoso. Él and because he cares, I care. Y porque él es bondadoso, es uh, yo uh, muestro la misma compasión. And if there's one person in the seats, y si there's one thousand. Y si hay una persona en este asi en estos asientos o hay mil personas en estos asientos. I'm still here because it's Shabbat. Yo voy a estar aquí porque es el reposo. And that's fun. Y es eso. Okay. That you have to be accountable to God for us. Mm -hmm. Right. So when you said you wasn't here for us, so I'm like, so what? What um, group of people are you going to tell him that you have? And it's his flock. I'm just a shepherd. Es el rebaño de él. Yo solamente soy el pastor. I'll protect the flock. Yo voy a proteger el rebaño. With my life. Con mi vida. I would protect. Sasha with my life. Yo voy a proteger a Sasha con mi vida. But if you and Dayan decide to leave, pero si tú y Dayan se deciden irse, I'm not going to run after you. Yo no voy a correr detrás You're de adults. ustedes. Ustedes son adultos. Every adult gets to choose their own way. Todo adulto puede elegir la I'm, manera que ellos I'm van a vivir. I'm here to shepherd those that the king brings in. Yo solamente estoy aquí para pastorear a aquellos que trae el rey. But I'm going to always keep doing Sabbath. 
pero yo siempre voy a guardar el reposo porque yo no estoy aquí para ustedes yo estoy aquí porque es el día de él and I'm going to do the Sabbath until I'm dead. Y yo voy a guardar el reposo hasta que yo muera. And then I'm going to do it again in heaven. Y yo lo voy a hacer otra vez en el cielo. But I was here, you know, before you. Yo estaba aquí antes de ti. And if you decide to leave. Y si ustedes deciden irse. I care. A mí me importa. But I'm not the type of person for this that runs after people. Pero yo no soy el tipo de persona que va a correr detrás de ti. It's your choice. Es tu decisión. No, oh, that's good. You're a real good shepherd and we appreciate that you do you put into my view. <laughs> you're doing the translation and that you're doing what you have to do basically. I appreciate that. Thank you. So I think it's that because God God did call you, you know, to this. So it's like you know, I just felt like you know, these are the shepherds he gave you. So the sheep. You know, sheep that he gave you. So when you say that, it's like. No, but you should be doing the Sabbath because God wants you to. Well, now mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Right. So no matter where, if I'm here or wherever I go, which I'm not leaving, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just, I already know that, you know, because I go, he keeps saying that the shepherd is not coming to shepherd. Right. So you should be here for him. Yeah. yeah and here's where the word's being taught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not for me. Yeah. That's, you know, there's a many ministries that have a man's name on it. Hay muchos ministerios que tienen el nombre del hombre. Don't go to Benny Hinn ministry. No vayan a los ministerios de Benny Hinn. But there's a lot of people that do. Pero hay muchas personas que van. Don't go, don't go for him. No vayan por él. Go for God. Vayan por Dios. Go where you're being fed. Vayan a donde están siendo alimentados me and my family will always do the Sabbath and you're invited me, yo y mi familia va, vamos a celebrar el reposo y But ustedes son invitados when the congregation was five people I still did Sabbath pero cuando la congregación solamente era cinco personas yo guardaba el reposo in some amazing way he always kept this place open y de una manera u otra él no, there, there were some times where I questioned él ha él ha quedado uh, dejado este ministerio que so it, que exista your walk can't be about me así que tu caminar no debe de ser sobre mí because it's personal porque es personal please if you want to go please go um, the two languages is very difficult when other people are talking que es muy difícil con los dos lenguajes it takes concentration porque se necesita mucha concentración. So your walk needs to be a personal relationship. Así que tu caminar tiene que ser una relación personal. My job as shepherd is to teach you the relationship. Mi trabajo como pastor es enseñarte esa relación. It's like a marriage. Es como un matrimonio. In the beginning of a marriage, it's a lot of times physical. En el comienzo del la el matrimonio es físico. 30 years later. 30 años después. It has to be about mental. Tiene que ser uh, mental. About the spiritual aspect. Es espiritual. And that's your walk with God. Eso es tu caminar con Dios. So my job as shepherd is to give you all the tools. Así que con, mi trabajo como pastor es darte ese armamento. So if one day I'm dead. Uh, porque el día que yo no esté aquí, que esté muerto. You're still walking with him. Tú vas a estar caminando con él. So that's what the, the statement meant. Y eso es lo que uh, esa declaración que yo hice se trata. Any other questions, Mark? Hay otras Dr. preguntas. Mark? The two leaders are there, Juan and Eduardo. And ideally, you should just let them go. Yeah, if, if that's what they're called to do. Um, or if one of my sons wanted to take that role at when they're old enough. Um, I don't know if Connor would be in that role. It's not really his per personality. Tristan is more of a teacher, but he's also only 18. 
So he couldn't be in the role because he's not a man. He couldn't be a role for quite some time because you don't want somebody who's a kid anyway. So he's got at least until he's 30. So the Lord would have somebody or, you know, uh, Rabbi Will, who's now a rabbi. Mm -hmm. All depends. But right now, you know, we do have leaders um, who are being trained. You know, Juan, not as much as Eduardo, because he's got five kids and they don't go to bed when they're supposed to. Um, but Eduardo has been through the leadership for, I guess, two years now, too. But it all depends what they, you have to be called for this. Tienen que ser llamados para este ministerio. And it's difficult. Y es muy difícil. You know, worship is one thing. El alabanza es una cosa. But like, you know, for your, to be a surgeon, you had to want it. Para ser cirujano, uno necesita que tener ese deseo. It would have been easier to be a GP. Uh, hubiera sido mejor general, general practitioner. practitioner. Uh, era, sería más, uh, uh, menos difícil ser un uh, uh, doctor general. So there's got to be a personality that has to be strong. Así que uno tiene que tener un carácter que es fuerte. That has to be trained. Que tiene que ser entrenado. And as we see in the scripture, God didn't remove the leader until there was another one that had it transferred onto him. Y como vemos en las escrituras, no vemos un líder que... Uh, que no fue líder hasta que fue uh, transferido a ese puesto. Yehoshua had hands laid on in front Ye of everybody. Yehoshua tuvo las manos uh, puestas sobre él uh, en, en uh, vista de todos. Carmen. Um, when you mentioned the Holy Spirit, I was looking at Genesis. Uh, that's called the, the Spirit of God. In the Brit Hanashah, it's called the Holy Spirit. Why doesn't it? Uh, why isn't it stated in the same form? It's implied. Okay. Hebrew is shorter. Es implicado. It's Hebrew is a much shorter language than the Greek. El hebreo es un lenguaje más pequeño que el griego. In Genesis 1:2 you're referring to. Genesis 1:2 está refiriendo usted. If it's the spirit of God. Si es el espíritu de Dios. Would it not be holy? No sería santo. Because the Greek the, the Greek is a larger language. El griego es un lenguaje más grande. Hebrew is a, it's a narrow language. El hebreo es un lenguaje más pequeño. Biblical Hebrew is, is a, actually a very small language. El uh, eh, um, hebreo bíblico es actualmente un lenguaje muy But pequeño. But it says, in the Hebrew it says the Ruach. Pero en el hebreo uh, el, la palabra es Ruach. Okay, it's the wind hovered over the water. Es el viento sobre el agua. Okay, so it's just the spirit. Así que es el Espíritu. Because it doesn't need to say anything else. Porque no necesita que decir nada más. And in, in the, the Greek it needs to say a little bit more to imply the same thing. En el griego tiene que decirse más para poder implicar lo, lo mismo. All right. Any other questions? <laughs> yes, sir.
All right, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing today. Thank you, Lord, for uh, this word. And may we all grow into our roles. In your name, Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Amen.